Hey guys, this is Power Bricks and I'm back with another Lego Makers on Review. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Power Rangers Mystic Fury or Maji Fury, I think I'm gonna call it, I don't know. But anyway, this is the Mystic Sentai Magimon and this is a kind of go Goanger but not go Goanger esque Zord. It's very different, but it also is reminiscent of something very classic that we've all seen, but this is a vehicle Zord. So we have five fantastic Zords. We have the Red Dragon Zord, which, and they're all vehicles, by the way, vehicle animal hybrids, kind of. Red Dragon, Blue Minotaur, Black Chimera, White Unicorn, and Pink Griffin. And there's only gonna be five. This is a solid team of Chibi Rangers. So let's take a look at it. Here are the little guys right here. Cute little Rangers. Uh, my camera picks up the color a little weird. I'll have to edit it, but uh, you can see that they're all here. This pink is supposed to be a lot more vibrant, but it's not picking up on my camera. I don't know, this iPhone 13 is kind of weird. But yeah, these are the guys right here, guys. So that's pretty much it. So the first two we're taking a look at is Minotaur and we're taking a look at Chimera. So these are some really cool Zords. Now the blue one has its own little color. Let's take a look at blue first since it's my favorite. It has six really nice little wheels and it has gold all over it. Really nice color to it. Nice blue. We got some gold trims all throughout. Got some nice horns right here and we also have a uh, dangly bull nose thing, bull ring, you know. There's articulation in the head. His head can be expressive, so it can move around. And there is also a little articulation in this uh, cab section right here, so you can kind of get some movement. And this is supposed to be a jet booster right here, an exhaust pipe. So really cool, though. I really do like blue. I like how this looks, the design. Really nice Zord. It's solid. I like the red eyes, too. The horns do open up. Pretty cool, though. You know, oh, my bad. I was just uh, playing around with it, but I need to stop because I keep popping the head off. But anyway, um, that is blue. They're real nice, too. And this is blacks, the Chimera. Now, the Chimeras are really cool, and it's slick. I like the black and uh, gold with the silver. Gray, nice compliments with the red eyes. Nice lion mane right there. You get that nice lion head and the snake head. Really cool, and there's a huge... Um, blade at the end of his head you know the mouth can open there are also some uh gunmetal gray metallic you know like uh fangs you can see those fangs right there and see right here we have some uh liquid gold i just love how this one looks this is my favorite so far so far it's a really cool one six wheels solid it doesn't have any pivot movement like uh this guy but they are really cool and i like how the whole set looks overall so next up is pink and white and these are some really cool zords right here taking a look at pink first it's the same model as blue but it does have a nice golden bird head with yellow eyes and some pink on there just you know to keep a nice look it's like a helmet you know it's a nice color it's a nice color man i love this right here it's really nice uh the gold on top really is nice Get a nice good tone of gold. We got some nice black going out there. Really nice stuff. Jet booster. Grows nicely. And it can uh, turn into all this stuff freely. It's pretty cool. Solid. Solid, solid Zord. And then also white. That's my chair, guys. She is also very similar. I mean, she has some hand articulation, too. Also. I forgot to point that out with black. He also, uh, whoa, whoa, this broke his head. He doesn't have head articulation, I'm tripping. Black doesn't, I mean, he kinda, he could, I mean, kinda. He kinda could do something like that, but that's really for transformation, he doesn't really have it. Black doesn't, I'm wrong. It's just white that does. So yeah, pretty solid. And last but not least is the big red dragon hauler. And this one is really cool. So you see the nice dragon eyes right there. You do also have some uh, teeth all throughout the entire Zord. His mouth does open and close like that, but it, it has a limit, you know, it can't raise it too high because then I'll break it, but it can only go like that. Simple little chomp, but at least it does it. Okay, uh, ball joint, ball joint. It's all pivotable, nice wheels, and two huge, well, three huge thrusters. So these are some nice, nice beast machines. I think they did some really cool things. I think you guys will actually love this. These are fantastic. But yeah, they're pretty cool, solid. What you guys think? So, transformation. So the combination really isn't that hard. It's actually pretty simple. We're gonna start off with blue and pink, and I'm gonna show you how simple this is. So first, all we're gonna do is just fold this connector port down, and it's done. And then we're going to do the same thing with blue. We're going to fold this connector port down 
and he is finished. Now, the only thing we have to do here is actually just close up the horns. Got to uh, move them up just a little bit so it can close and it creates like a hand. This is a, uh, these are going to be hands, okay? Well, arms, arms actually. Now that he's out the way, we can get serious with the Zord. So first, we're going to pull this upwards like that. Boom, and that's a leg. And we're just going to flip this black connector port outwards. Bam, we have a leg, which is black. And then we're going to get white. And we're just going to raise this up like that. Boom. And I like to bring this forward. It disconnects sometimes, but I like to bring that forward. And then I'm going to raise that up. This is another leg for the Megazord. Now, this is the most complex out of all of them. So let me show you. First, we're going to pull this apart. Now, he's a little parts former, too. Pull that off. And then we're going to grab this section uh, and take that off. Now we have four pieces. This It's not that hard though. So look, first we're gonna get this piece. We're gonna fold these down, boom. These are gonna be the legs. Then we're gonna put this piece, fit it around there, boom. And then I'm gonna raise my camera a little bit. We're gonna get this piece and we're gonna sandwich it right in the middle. Make sure the measurements are precisely lined up the sandwich that bad boy boom we got him sandwiched okay now we're gonna get this piece and we're gonna plug in all my ass that's the head but oh also i'm tripping fold these down then we fold these out this is the upper body of the megazord blue red click click pow black Blue and red. Voila. Red in the gang with pink. Raise it up. More friends. Hey, where's my friend? Unicorn, there you are. All right. Boom. That was so freaking crazy. I'm never doing that again. All right. And here is the head. Boom. Then we're going to fold this up. Fold that down. Actually, no, this folds around like that. Yeah, and then going to raise the camera up like that, and we're gonna fold these horns out. Go, go, Power Rangers! Okay, do you do? So here it is, fully merged up. This is the Megazord, it is awesome. Now, he has a weapon, obviously. We're gonna put it in the bull hand this time. Okay, so. That goes in right there. Turn that around. Then this folds in. And this is the serpent sword it's small but it's not that small it's right size it's pretty cool it's solid but um yeah let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what the zord can actually do so give me a second. okay sorry about that i had to wipe my camera so this guy is highly articulated so we have movement all in the shoulders there we got 360 arm rotation almost well yeah, it can. It can almost go 360. Yeah, it could go 360. Yep, it could do it. Whoops. It's possible. 360. Boom. It just got the little wheels, but I like to raise these up, though. Pretty solid. We got some uh, bend at the elbow. Nice little elbow bend on the ball joint. Can't go wrong. Got some wrist movement. Nice sword. We also have, I keep fidgeting with the arms, but there's also the mouth can open and close. He can bend his knees. He could kind of pose. He could do some poses, something like that. I don't know. Cool little pose. You can bend this knee too. You can also bend the toes a little bit. Nice little unicorn kick, spear kick. Boom, White Ranger, pretty awesome. Now, 
this sword is solid. I know you guys would have probably would have drawn some better rangers, but I think the rangers were alright. Sometimes I like drawing chibis, but I do wish that they did get a better sword. But this fits the chibi narrative because they're like vehicle buggies, but they're like mystical, cool little rangers. And if you want to, you can draw a real team. It doesn't really matter. Uh... Yeah, this is the Zord, guys. I don't know what else to say about it. It is very flushed. Very nice. Nice thing. No kibble on the back. Just flat back. Cool. Little tiny stuff, but that's nothing. These little... This is nothing. It's not that bad. Especially for Lego. Like, come on. This was a little milestone to pull off. But it always starts with the sketch. Yes, indeed. I have the power. This is the Megazord. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, guys. This is pretty much it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is Power Break signing off. <laughs>